And the remedy these young plaintiffs seek is equally straightforward. Stop propping up policies that exacerbate climate change, United States government. Yeah. Instead, put forward and pursue a plan to end global warming and return carbon concentrations in the atmosphere to 350 parts per million, which is universally considered safe by the year 2100. That's right, that's right. Needless to say, the government seems terrified of trying this case. By motions to dismiss, motions for judgment on the pleadings, motions for summary judgment, petitions for stay of proceedings going up into the upper courts, the most recent of which is in the United States Supreme Court now. The government is desperate to avoid a trial. Juliana v. U.S. demands that the leaders of our government be held accountable for the depravity of past and current public policy. Juliana v. U.S. lays bare the truth about carbon and climate change and what we must do immediately in order to mitigate ecological devastation. The Juliana v. U.S. case could become the driving force in helping us reach the ambitious Paris Climate Accord goal in preventing Earth's temperature rise from exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius beyond the pre-industrial average. If we join together, children and adults alike, raising our voices, things can change. I am so grateful for the 20 to the 21 youths who have spoken out for both animals and humans alike. Go Juliana! Climate change affects us all, especially the young, animals and humans alike. But if we work together, we can save this earth. Go Juliana, thank you. We have been in these dire situations before. We have come together before. And now we will rally again behind these brave young plaintiffs, Juliana versus the United States, to build a better world again. Oh, yeah.